The screen timeout is the length of time your Galaxy S23 display stays on before turning off to conserve battery. Some users have experienced problems with the screen timing out too fast or not staying on long enough. There are several troubleshooting steps you can take to get your Galaxy S23 screen time out working properly again. Before we move on, please take a second to like our video or even share it with your friends who might have issues with their devices. It's a great help for us. Now let's jump right into our tips. Check your timeout setting. Make sure the timeout is set to your preferred duration. You may want to temporarily increase the duration to see if that addresses rapid timeout issues. To do that, launch settings and tap display. Then scroll down a bit and tap screen timeout. While you're troubleshooting, select the shortest timeout and see if that's accurate. Then choose longer timeouts. Also check that your screen brightness isn't set extremely low. Toggle adaptive brightness off. The adaptive brightness feature can automatically lower brightness to save power. This may cause the screen to turn off sooner than expected. Disable it by going into settings, then display and toggling. Adaptive brightness off. Monitor if this changes your timeout issues. Restart your device. A simple restart can often resolve glitchy software issues like screen timeout problems, as restarting refreshes all processes. So press and hold the volume down and power buttons for a couple of seconds until the power options show. Tap restart and then confirm the reboot. Wait for your phone to restart successfully and then try to see if the problem is fixed. Reset app preferences. As a last resort, you can reset all app preferences. This will revert all apps to their default settings. To do this, open settings and then scroll down and tap apps. On the next screen, tap the more options at the top right corner and then select reset app preferences. When the pop-up shows, tap reset to confirm. These solutions should be enough to fix a simple problem like this. However, if problems continue, you may need to perform a factory reset on your Galaxy S23, which will completely wipe the device. We hope that this guide can be helpful. Thanks for watching.